Welcome back everyone to the next video in our Let's Play series of Motorsport Manager. Um, a quick rundown just as a summary for where we are at this point in the season. We just finished up event number five and currently in the Drivers' Championship we set first and 13th. So we're doing very well there. And then most importantly in the Team Championship we are currently in the lead by eight points there. So things are going great. Uh, we've got you know, new headquarter buildings that we built. Now a couple of those. Uh, we have the top drivers on the grid, at least for now. And then, you know, our staff is doing well. We're in the top three there. And then sponsors, we're doing great there as well. So things are looking good. Uh, we've got some emails. We got our couple of news items uh, and then a car condition update, which is all normal. But we're at a point now where it's time to develop some new parts okay we've had an influx of cash here recently so we've got money to spend and you know we're doing pretty good on these others and the reason i say pretty good you know we're only ninth in deceleration but if you look here at the average marker on the grid we're not very far below that so we're not far below there we're actually a little bit above average which makes that that seventh on the grid a little odd but either way we're about average with the grid there as well. But you can see we're well below average here. I mean, average is up here. We're well below that on engine. So let's go ahead and go ahead and start work on a new engine. So of course it's gonna be extremely expensive and I have no plans to use this engine in our next race because uh, it's gonna take, you know, probably all of that time, maybe and then some before it'll be ready. And besides reliability, wouldn't be where we need it to be anyway. So this is going to be looking forward uh, to not the next race, but the following race after that. So we're looking ahead into the future here. All right, let's see what we got. I pick out uh, top speed plus 20. I like that. 40, day, 40 to the max uh, adds five days, but I'm not worried about that. So 40 to the max is good. Plus 30 on top speed is good. Uh, drops the max a little bit, but plus 40 is also good. So I like what I see here. Let's see what some different combinations might give us. If I just go straight down and choose them like this, that'll get me 240. So no room for improvement, but it gets me straight to our 240 max. All right, we'll keep the 240 number in mind. Okay, let's back those off. And let's see, well, I like these two. So let's see, and wow, that would be nice. Uh, but it costs you an extra million. Who knows? It might be worth it. We might try out a, a formula to see if that works. All right, let's go ahead and try out an additional good slot and go here. That'll get us plus 40 to the max instead of the plus 20. And then there. Okay, that gets us to 249. All right, I like that build a lot. All right, now let's see what we can get. Really, if we want to go a risk level, I have no desire to go plus 60 on reliability. I mean, we'll take care of the reliability after the part is developed. So no worry there. And then here, plus 15, and then plus 25 to the max. Uh, really doesn't really doesn't do much for, for me, honestly. So let's see what we... I think I'm just going to go ahead and stick with what we had before because I, I feel like our options are pretty small. Uh, and this also gives me an opportunity to look at something else. You know, you can see here the Epic parts are, you know, they're blocked out. Uh, but of course, it would be very expensive now to upgrade our test track to level two, which is what would be required. Now, you can see a plus 50, very nicely done there, and it doesn't add to your risk. So you've got some nice items there, but boy, is it expensive to do that. I'm almost to the point of thinking that these buildings aren't really all that worth it. Um, I mean, yeah, they're they're good and everything, but it, is the extra performance you get from, is it really worth it? Um, and I'm not sure, you know, but the point of the game for me is to have fun. So at this point, I'm just going to continue to build the buildings as I can and just go along with it because I think that's fun uh, rather than, you know, micromanaging this thing to a huge degree. So I like that we've got 249 here. That's a good number. And I think that is where I want to go. You can see it's actually going to be done a little bit before the race, but that is a non-issue for us. 
Let's go ahead and spend that money and get things going. All right, let's fast forward a, a couple of days here so we can get back into uh, improving parts. There we go. This should be our new email that our car repair is finished. Now we can come into improving parts. And you can see already we've got a 229 engine in here that we're working on that should definitely be at max level before uh, our next race. What I'm going to uh, plan on doing here is let's take a look real quick at reliability and see if there's anything we want uh, to work on. So we're going to have a 229 engine and then a 249 engine by the time uh, the next Grand Prix rolls around, or two ahead of now. And let's see, we're at 80 and 80. Okay, so I think we're good there. Let's go ahead and max out this performance. Uh, and then we'll check back in on this. And as soon as it gets right at or maybe just before uh, maxing out, we'll come back over here and maybe throw a few more things on there. Wow. You know, if you auto let these things auto complete, let's see what we get. I didn't like those things at all, but let's see what we've got. So 97, 97. Uh, we're already working on the 79% there. Uh, brakes, we'll go ahead and add those in there because that allows us to really push the car. I uh, really haven't had a whole lot of trouble out of the spec parts. And so 98, 98, really? Yeah, we're in uh, good shape, it looks like. So let's go ahead and add these two in there as well. And let's go ahead and continue there. And let a little while pass here while we're working on uh, the performance of our car. And we'll see how it goes. There we go. Performance work is about to be done. Here in just a few days, another new news item there that we don't particularly care about. If, if we come back here under improving parts, you can see that's going great. Everything going great here as well. And let's look, go ahead and let this thing play out on improving the performance of our newest engine. All right, we'll go ahead and fast forward. So we're still... Yeah, you can see we're about 20 days out. Let's go ahead and stop that before it gets too far beyond that. Okay, performance work is complete. Let's come back under improving parts. Now, I don't know that I really have anything else I want to add here. All right, really wish this part wouldn't have been banned. That would have been very nice to keep, but it was found. Okay, so yeah, nothing really to work on here. So we're just going to spend the rest of the time just trying to max out what we can on our final four parts. And really the only thing that remains is a little bit extra on some more of these spec parts. Okay, very good. And so now we're zeroing in on our next Grand Prix. You can see reliability work is almost done as well. All right, so far so good. Okay, engine will be done in just a, a few days. Our reliability work. Okay, it is also, it is now done. So the factory staff needs something to do. And we are going to do just that for them. Let's go ahead and auto fill everything over here. Again, it wants to go from 98 to 100, I suppose. All right, so let's see what, what parts we really want to work on. I think all we've got left are the spec parts. So that's what we're going to go ahead and go with. Everything else looks to be in great shape as far as reliability goes. Let's see, our engine is at 97, so pretty close there. All right, so I'm, I'm feeling much better about our parts. Let's see what we get. Let's see if we get back out of here. Now, our top speed, we're now eighth. Okay, and of course, that was simply a function of taking our newest engine up to its full capability at 229. So we get an idea there. So we're up to eighth there, and then we're going to improve just a little bit more next time. So we're eighth, seventh, and ninth. So the next thing we'll uh, maybe want to work on, we'll see how it goes, uh, would be brakes. Okay, since we had that part banned, that's moved us down in that category. 
All right, so we've got these pauses so that we can simulate the upper tiers. All right, and we are zeroing in on our next race. Okay, engine build is finished at 220 out of 249. Okay, we're going to not fit that part because our reliability would be horrible. Okay, so 84% there. And what I'm going to do at this point is probably what you're guessing I'm going to do, which is to add this onto both. And I'm going to go ahead and let's see. Let's go ahead and max out our reliability first. Uh, we don't have all that far to go here on performance. Let's go ahead and max out our reliability because that's going to be our limiting factor. Okay, let's go ahead and get started on a new part. And let's see. Our brakes right now, we are at our highest brake is at, I believe, 226. Let's come out and take a quick look at that. And let's see, brakes. All right, so we had the 281 part band, so we're at 226 and 192. Okay, so not, not terrible. So 226 and 192. So we're going to try to get above 226 if we can. All right, let's see. I see 20 here. I see a 50 there if we want to risk it. I see plus 25 there. And, of course, we can't get down into here, but let's take a quick look. And a plus 50 there, which would be very nice. Ooh, and a plus 70. Wow, that's very, uh, very good there. Okay, but let's see. And a plus 20. Let's see, do we want to do an additional slot there? Maybe so, because I don't like all this risk. I mean, I'm not really enjoying what I'm seeing here. Uh, we can get up. The good news is we can get up to about 250 here, uh, a little bit higher, if I'm willing to take a little bit of risk. But, of course, we got burnt on that. So do I want to take that risk? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Uh, and the reason I'm going to do it is, again, just to add some fun in here. Maybe we get caught with it. Maybe we don't. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and take the risk that would get us up to 292 and I don't see anything else that would get us close yeah nothing else would really get us close we can play it safe here and stay at 250 and I tell you what let's go ahead and let's do the 250 first that and then the next time we build breaks I'll go a little bit uh, more on that so let's go ahead and get that in the pipeline Let's see, we have an empty component slot. Yeah, we do, don't we? Uh, we could go here, but yeah, everything really adds uh, a risk level to us. So because we have the ability to do it, let's go ahead and just lower that, uh, which really helps out the reliability because it uh, gives you more time before you hit that, uh, that red area. Okay, so but it did cost us a little bit of money. Not terribly worried about that. So we'll spend our 700000 and get busy on a new brake package. Okay. And let's go ahead and move on up because it is time for us to set things for our next event. Okay. So we're not going to choose the 250 here. Um, our profit loss right now is at 426 which is pretty good. Uh, but it's a pretty easy decision here. We're going to go with third or above for $1.2 million. And boy, would that be nice if we could do that. Okay, now fitting parts, uh, I have no interest here, even though it's at 46%. Uh, no reason to really use that engine just yet. And I think what I'm going to do is leave things as they are. All right, and we're ready to race. Our practice session has just finished. And let's take a quick look at the setups for both cars. And they're a little bit different here, uh, mostly because their recommendations were a little bit different after the practice sessions, particularly as it pertained to downforce. Uh, Sergio seemed to want a little bit more downforce than Rafael. So that's what we ended up with. Uh, you can see here the percentages are not anywhere near as high as I wanted them to be, particularly for Rafael, which we'll see in a moment. Uh, not quite as bad here for Sergio. 
but we're at 92%, uh, percent and I adjusted the handling uh, a little bit. So we should be 93, maybe 94, depending on how good the adjustment was that I made. Okay, tire choice, you know, full of fuel. So nothing out of the ordinary there. If we come over to Raphael, you can see we did not have much luck at all with his balance. But I made some adjustments based off of uh, where the two runs were and tried to sort of split the difference on some things. Uh, down fours he did like uh, quite a bit. And you can see what he liked. And, you know, so we had a few things there that were good. Tried to get the speed balance toward that great feedback instead of uh, just the good. So I think overall we're going to be uh, in much better shape than what this would would have you believe. But nonetheless, it was a, a rough practice session in trying to get things going. Now, this is not a race that we can make it on one stop. So I'm going to go ahead and... You know, we've got one driver sort of in the middle of the pack. Sergio's going to be starting eighth, and then we're going to have Rafael starting dead last. So for Rafael, I'm going to start off with his tires, him not pushing. So he's going to be neutral there. And then engine modes. Now, I would like to think that we could just do overtake on both for the entire time, uh, but I don't think we can. So we're going to start off with overtaking for Sergio, see if he can make up a few spots, and, and then we'll see how it goes for the second and third stint there as well. All right, so let's see. Let's see what we get as we get this race started. So I'll be looking for, hopefully, Sergio to make some moves at the beginning of the race. Traditionally, uh, both cars seem to fall toward the rear at the beginning. Uh, so if that happens again, uh, I can't say that I will be particularly concerned about that. That's, that's based on car performance more than anything, I believe. But we're going to go ahead and have Sergio push and see what we can get here. So right now... Uh, he's still in eighth. We've got Rafael moved up to 19th. So far, so good. And remember, pit stops will start around lap four. So that's kind of what I've got in mind. All right, again, so far, so good. We're in seventh and 19th. So biggest thing here is I don't want to see safety cars. I don't want to see, uh, definitely don't want to see a wreck or anything like that for, for either of our guys. All right, so far, let's see, the tire heat is below optimum here for Rodriguez. We're going to up that a little bit. Not terribly bad for Sergio, which is a little surprising given how hard I'm pushing with him. All right, again, so far, so good. We're on lap three, which means that pit stops will likely begin this next time by for cars. And that's where I'm really interested because that gives us some clean air for both cars. Okay, so the good news here so far is that Rodriguez has picked up a couple of spots and that Sergio is basically holding serve here. He started out in eighth. We're at seventh now. All right, now the pit stops begin. Okay, so we're in fifth with an opportunity to overtake fourth. Maybe this is not exactly the clean air I was looking for. All right, let's go ahead and back this down a little bit. Let's see, are we going to have enough fuel to make it another lap? Uh, no, we are not. So I'm going to go ahead and pit him now. Uh, well, we could if I really backed it down, but then we're getting into having both cars pit at the same time, uh, which I don't want. Park condition hopefully will be great for everything. Yeah, it looks pretty good there. Let's go ahead and take some chances here. Pick up a couple of seconds if we're right. Uh, if we're not, we, it might cost us a little bit, but we're going to, at this point, let's have a little fun here and take a chance. Okay, so we're in sixth and eighth as the pit stops go. Uh, all right, and we've got to spin this camera around so we can see what's going on there. All right, so he comes out pretty good. Rodriguez in the meantime. All right, let's go ahead. He's on his final lap, so we're going to queue up his pit stop. So he's on his final lap uh, on these tires. 
Let's go ahead and get everything going as, as well as we can. This will give him a chance to uh, maybe crack the top 10. Okay, let's go ahead and queue that up. We're going to have him overtake and attack. This is, this is where we're going to make up some time, if at all possible, here. Of course, the biggest thing is we want to make sure that we don't have him uh, wrecked. But that's a chance we're going to take right now because we need to make up some spots. This is his final lap on tires, so the most we can make up, the better. I'll just have to remember to back off of that a little bit uh, once we get into pit lane. Okay, so now he is in pit lane. I'm going to back off of that for sure. And let's see where he comes out. He's got a nice size lead. We are in first. Boy, you just want him to really speed up. Okay, so we come out sixth. Excellent. Excellent. So now we're fourth and sixth. And we'll click back over to Sergio because he's running ahead and he'll be the first one to come into the pits this next time. All right, so now we're at a point where we can start to look for the end of the race. All right, and see when we want to make our final pit stop. Uh, we've got basically a, a full lap between the two on pit stop cycle. That's good. First and second are pulling away from us at this particular point. All right, we're starting to heat up the tires. Let's back off a little bit there. And yeah, we don't want to really mess with that a whole lot. We need those tires to last uh, as long as they can here. So we're, we're pretty comfortably in the top five right now with Raphael just outside the top five. His tire is also heating up a little bit, so we'll back off of that as well. Okay, so now we've got some more pit stops happening. Because we've got several cars. I know it's four or five cars look like they've come in. So now we're running third and fourth. All right, this is where we can make up some time. But I don't want to really move up anything here simply because um, at this particular point in time, I need them to run an extra lap so that our final pit stop can be the fewest number of laps possible and we can really push there. Okay, so another, looks like three, four, five cars or more coming in this time by. All right, so now this will be our pit lap for Sergio. We'll go ahead and fill him up. Wow, so we're gonna be, I'm gonna have to really, really pull back for him because he's otherwise gonna be slow. We're gonna keep everything at fast, on that okay so with that in mind let's go ahead and have him really slow it down on this final lap coming in that'll save him a little bit of fuel plus what we put in uh, maybe he'll be fine after that all right and then next time by we'll be able to uh, really press hard looks like we've got the first place car which we're thankfully running right with at this point he is also coming in this time by. Okay, let's swap over to Rodriguez, and he'll be coming in next time by. And so with that in mind, let's go ahead and have him overtake and push. Tires are already heating up a little bit, so I don't want him to push too much more than what he is right now and kill the tires and risk uh, even more than, than we need to at this point. Just a good clean lap here for him. Sergio comes out in fourth. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and have him at this point. Let's have him go back to, uh, we can't do high. Let's have him go medium at this point and push on the tires because I think we're going to need a little bit more heat in the tires. Okay, with that in mind, let's queue up our pit stop for Rodriguez. And let's see how we come out there. Okay, so we're going to five laps remaining, six laps of fuel. That'll enable us to continue to push. And he should come out in top three if all goes well with the pit stop. So let's go ahead and I'll tell you what. Yeah, let's go ahead and cut it loose on the pit stop. Why not? Again, having a little fun here. All right, so even though we're pushing extremely hard on the fuel, uh, it looks like we're going to have plenty to make it back around to the pits. All right, so here he goes. He's got a nice size lead so far. Let's see where we come out in the wash. Man, it just kills you watching those guys come down. 
Okay, we need to finish third. Right now we're in third and fourth. Okay, so we need to back off here a little bit because I don't think we have enough uh, excess fuel to make it if we go overtake. But we're going to go ahead and have both push. And we're showing excess fuel here for Sergio. Again, I'm not sold on that right now. But let's have him push and try to at least maintain for now. We need to stay at least in contact with both cars with that top three, if at all possible. And then we'll see how things shake out with one or two laps left at the end. Okay, I'm going to try to keep an eye on. It doesn't look like we got any weather to worry about, although admittedly, I have mostly forgotten. Okay, yeah, we've got four laps remaining, and so we're going to go ahead and drop down here. But in this case, we're still good to go to push for our second car. Although I'm not sure what difference it's going to make for us um, if, you know, if he's behind Sergio here. But we'll see. The biggest thing is if we can pull out to a bigger lead over that fourth place car, I will really like that. And try to get both cars on the podium, that would be tremendous. Okay, so we've got three laps remaining and we're looking good on fuel, of course, with both cars. And we're in first and second, so we've got more pit stops going right now. I think we're good on fuel with both cars, but I'm going to continue to keep an eye on that. Uh, let's see. It looks like... We're heating our tires up, and I don't want to kill our tires for the final few laps. We've got a nice size little lead here, and right now we're first and second. So no reason to really push the envelope. Uh, the biggest thing I don't want these guys to do is wreck each other. Okay, so two laps remaining, and we're at 2.09, I believe, it, it, in fuel as we cross the line. So we're going to be very close there. But I think we're in good shape with both cars. We've got a nice size lead here. This is great. So no reason to really push at this point. We're doing great. And this would be a huge win for Sergio if we could get it. Uh, obviously, either car getting a victory at this point would be great. We're here on the final lap. And, of course, there's no team orders here. Y'all race it out and give it everything you've got. Looks like we're just going to have enough fuel. And with this in mind, let's go ahead and have him try to overtake if he can. All right, I doubt he will be able to. And at this point, that is not a problem. If we can come home first and second and sweep the top places on the podium, that is going to be awesome. And that is exactly what is going to happen. A tremendous result for us, really as good as it can get. So we're going to come home in first as far as the team goes. And then we're also going to have our driver that's leading the points come home second. So he's going to pick up some nice points over the third and fourth place cars. So really a great result. All right. So we'll let everything go ahead and funnel its way through here. Sergio gets the victory. A great overall team day. This should really stretch out our team points lead and we'll check on that next all right we'll take an opportunity here for we'll go ahead and hit that save button if it will allow me to there we go because we don't want to lose this kind of result that's for sure all right let's continue on to the next we do have a risk here and okay so we make it through a little bit of a nail-biting moment there because you don't want to lose either a victory or a second-place finish from rules violation. All right, so I'd say our strategy worked out perfectly in this race. We sweep the top two places on the podium. Driver championship standings, look at what a difference it has made. So Rafael, of course, keeps his lead, but now he's up 20 points on second place. And Sergio goes from, it was either, I believe, 13th or 14th. Now he's up to third. So, but you can tell the gap here is not much down through the field. So he was able to make up that many, but of course you can lose that many very quickly as well. So now we're first and third in the driver championship. Let's take a look at the team championship. We are now up 25 on second place. That is amazing. 
And it's exactly what I was hoping for. Let's move forward a, a couple more screens here as we get into the, the happiness of both our chairman as well as our drivers. And let's check their morale. Both of them are at 85%. Excellent. I think this took a hit uh, in part. And the reason why uh, we're not much closer to 100% is because nobody got to use that new engine. And I think they were both taking a hit because of that, as well as some other uh, minor things here and there. Uh, we can see here our, let's see, our braking and cornering. I know our cornering and overtaking are helped by our new HQ buildings, but I can't remember about braking. I don't think we have that building. So it's nice to see a big increase there as well. All right, overall, I think we're in great shape. And let's take a look at our happiness rating. Again, we're maxed out at 90%. That's because of, in part because of Sergio. Uh, so we're maxed out there. Our marketability seems to be more or less maxed out. We can't really do a whole lot. Um, additionally, here until we unlock some other HQ buildings, at least one I know of. So everything is great there. Let's take a look at our money. $1.4 million. And that will take us up to now $4.3 million. And so we'll end this video here with a great look at where we are in the team standings. Thank you very much for joining me in this Let's Play and stay tuned for more Motorsport Manager.